Many people think that building a greenhouse is a very complex task, but today we will show you that anyone can really do it. In this video we will be building the Sanus XL12 greenhouse, which can be built in 5 or 6 hours if built by 2 persons. Follow along this step-by-step -step instruction. Firstly, we need to prepare all the necessary tools. A cordless drill, a 10mm wrench, a PH1 screwdriver, a tape measure, and a spirit level. In preparation, we will need to level the foundation for the greenhouse as much as possible. If you do not want to pour the foundation, we recommend to dig holes for the clay concrete blocks. Use a spirit level to keep the base level. After building the greenhouse, place the fixing corners to the foundation and attach them to the blocks or a poured foundation. We also recommend purchasing ceiling strips for the panels. Put the breathable perforated anti-dust ceiling strips on the bottom of the polycarbonate panels. The solid strips are used for the top. Keep in mind that the protective film with markings must be on the outside of the polycarbonate panel because that side of the panel has UV protection. Prepare a spot for the panels. It is best to lay down some clean cardboard or film to keep the polycarbonate panels away from the dirt. Connect the foundation profiles to the necessary length. You can do it like this. Put the fittings with rhombus screws in the profiles. Prepare the profiles according to the given instructions and connect the inner and outer parts of the foundations. We will apply silicone to the joints later on. Place the foundation profiles along the perimeter and prepare the corner fittings. Screw bottom screws to the fittings and tighten them. Insert the top corner connection screws into the profiles but do not tighten them yet. Take the wall corner profiles and put them on the screws at the corners of the foundation profile. Tighten the top screws after putting on the wall corners. Then install the strut profiles for the front and back walls. These profiles should be inserted using the same method as the corner profiles. Insert the screw. Attach the strut to it and tighten the nut. Attach the door strut profile with a loop on the side you want the door to open up to. The loop must be turned towards the center of the greenhouse.
Install the panels of the front and back walls on the struts. We will install the door later on. Put on the traverse profiles of the front and back wall on the panels and attach them using a straight strut fitting according to the instructions of the manual. Tighten all parts and do this on both sides. In order for the greenhouse to stand level, attach a traverse profile at the door at the same level as others. Then, attach the wall struts using the same method, by putting them on the screws. Prepare for mounting the gutter. Screw in the hex screws into the wall and roof fittings without tightening them yet. Then, attach the gutter to all struts and corner profiles of the wall covered by the gutter. Place the gutter profiles on the wall struts and insert the screws in them. Do this on both sides. Connect the gutter after putting the parts on the wall panels. Install the wall panels. All panels must be fully inserted in the foundation profile and be in the same level. Then tighten the two bottom screws of the wall roof fitting and apply silicone to the joints of the gutter and the foundation profile. Install the corner tensioners when the panels are installed and leveled. Ensure that they are put in securely and cannot get loose. Measure diagonally after putting on the wall panels and tensioners. The diagonal measurements must match. If the diagonals don't match, there will be problems further in the installation process. Then, connect the ridge profile with the roof corners by connecting them to the roof struts and fix them in place using screws. Place the structure on the greenhouse and install the wall roof fittings. After putting the roof structure on the greenhouse, install the inner part of the ridge, connect everything with rumba screws and apply silicon to the joints. Install the roof strut fittings on the struts of the front and back wall. A simple screw goes at the bottom and the rumba screw at the top. Tighten the screws. Connect the roof struts to the ridge using screws. Connect the other end of the wall roof fittings and secure using screws as well. Install the triangles on the front and back wall of the greenhouse. Install the 30 cm tensioners with rhombo screws at the roof wall joints as well as the roof joint. Prepare the skylights and door. Carefully cut the protective film using a knife and remove it. Install the skylights. They go into the ridge profile and can be slid to the necessary spot. 
Install the polycarbonate panel under the skylight and install the horizontal skylight profile on it using the straight strut fitting. Put on the roof panels. The panels must be fully inserted into the ridge profile and form a straight line at the bottom. If the panels are not straight, check the diagonal measurements and the horizontal drawer profile using a spirit level. After installing all the panels of one side, put on the gray strips and attach them to the gutter at the roof strut using self-stapping screws. Install the snail on the profile with a loop and then the door. After putting on one part of the door, install the second snail and put on the other part of the door. There must be no gaps between the door parts. After installing the door, measure the spot you want to install the door handles and hooks. Mark the door and drill three holes in them. Use the handle as a measurement. Install the handle by leaving its wider end on the outside. Drill holes on the strut you want to install the hooks on and attach the parts. Connect the parts of the hook and hook on the handle. Also install the back window. Install the snail and put the window on. Install the handle using the same method used for the door. Also, install the triangles above the door and the window, placing the traverse profile of front and back walls. Now, we will install the thermovent automatic openers. Fix the upper end of the thermovent using hex screws and the bottom end using the rhombus screw. Insert a metal pin into the hole and put on the cylinder. Put on the gutter caps on one side, rainwater will flow through the other side, and the ridge caps should be installed on both sides. And finally, you can be proud of what you've built.